Hello. Good morning. My name is Phạm Ngọc Hà. I'm a resident doctor at my hospital. Today it's my honor to be here to present my presentation with the name of the quality of life of patients after CT guided strand thoracic biopsy. There are five parts in my presentation. The first part is introduction. Transthoracic biopsy or TTB is a very important diagnostic technique in the respiratory medicine. It helps to collect samples from lung noodles and uh, mediastinal masses and is an important alternative to invasive surgical procedures. CT is most commonly used for imaging guidance for transthoracic biopsy. TTB can cause some complications such as pneumothorax, chest pain, dyspnea, and so on. Aspects of quality of life have just become more important in the last few years and are considered one of the criteria for assessing the effectiveness of the treatment. Assessing quality of life is really necessary because CTB is a direct intervention, seriously affecting physical health, emotional and mental health. So we conduct this study with the objectives to describe the quality of life of the patient after CT guidance. TTB as respiratory center of my hospital in 2019. <clears throat> There's a lot of uh, many uh, indications for this procedure, but there are no absolute contraindication. Uh, some complications can occur in TTB, such as pneumothorax from 0 to 60%, hemoptysis occur in up to 18%, but most cases will stop bleeding. Other complications are such as air embolism, Hemothorax or metastasis are very rare. The quality of life is the general well-being of individuals and societies, aligning negative and positive features of life. Quality of life was affected by units, health disorder, and they are, uh, the following characteristics like self-assessment, subjective, multidimensional, and changing over time. There are currently over 800 quality of life scales divided into two types as general scale and specialized scale. In our study, we use two scales. It's uh, our eq 5 d 5 ls focusing on the patient experience, feeling, and perception just in one day, and uh, QLQLC29, uh, assessment for lung cancer patient. Uh, about the materials and methods, the inclusion criteria in our study does the patient has undergone CT guided TTB and they have to stay in the respiratory center after uh, uh, biopsy at least one day and they have ability to answer the question. And this is a cross-sectional study in the respiratory center like my hospital from July to October 2019 with a convenient sampling. The study tool is a new set of questionnaire based on eq 5 d 5 l and QLQLC29 um, but in our study, uh, we have a biopsy-related problem mm -hmm. uh, questionnaire. It's based on QLQLC29, uh, uh, a three time, including before biopsy, after biopsy, three hours and one day. So, uh, the data was analyzed by SPSS20. Here's a data collection procedure in our study. So we have some uh, results here. The first one is clinical characteristic. The percentage of male accounts for uh, 72, 72% um, higher than the female patients, maybe due to uh, men smoke more than women. The average uh, age is 50, 54 years. Uh, these are similar to the result of study of uh, Đoàn Thị Phương Lan and Đông Đức Hưng. Uh, it shown that it's, uh, this was the age starting to exist many health problems and screening should be required uh, for uh, this age to detect um, uh, lung cancer. As can be seen at figure 2, uh, the most commonly uh, symptoms on admission include chest pain, fever. Uh, this result is similar to research of Đoàn Thị Phương Lan. Let's move to TTB, chest pain and fever that you can see on the table. Uh, at three hours post biopsy compared to before biopsy increased significantly. After one day, chest pain decreased but was still significantly higher than before biopsy. Uh, after intervention, the most common complication of patients was a uh, pneumothorax with a uh, 26.3% uh, 20, uh, 
Over a half a patient did not have any complications and no case of de death. Acon according to a study, the rate of pneumothorax was 15%. If the patient developed pneumothorax, stop the procedures and supply oxygen for the patient. Uh, hemoptysis or air embolism is was very rare, uh, very rare in uh, this uh, uh, TTB. There was statistically different before and after biopsy in daily related questionnaires, such as self care and uh, pain or discomfort. After TTB, the average uh, EQ VAS uh, score decreased uh, statistically. A statistically significant difference between group of patient before and those after three hours by biopsy related problems questionnaire because of some symptoms due to TTB, uh, such as uh, chest pain, coughing, and dyspnea. Uh, the quality of life after one day returned to before biopsy. The differences between before and after TTB oh, wow. regarding to uh, lesion size, lesion depth, and complications um, are different, but not statistically, which be less uh, more than 0 0.05. So we have some conclusion here. The ratio of male to per female was uh, 2.6, and the average age was uh, 54 years. Three hours after biopsy, the rate of transplant increased to 82%, decreased to 63% after biopsy one day. Quality of life by cell rating uh, after one day was worse than those before biopsy. Quality of life was affected by biopsy for a short time and returned to normal day uh, after one day. Aspects of quality of life by EQ5D5L decreased after biopsy. Uh, size, uh, lesion, death, lesion, um, and uh, complication did not affect to uh, the quality of life of the patient statistically. Thank you for your attention. Okay. <laughs>